You know, I was thinking in this episode of Recession Talk, in my adult lifetime, I have ridden through three recessions. The recession of 1990, the recession of the 2000s, and the Great Recession. In the recession of the 2000s, I started a business and I made $1.6 million. In the recession of 2009, I became a millionaire. See, one of the things that, you know, I've been here on YouTube, I've been talking that talk that I'm not worried about recession. I don't look at the price of gas and I went back in my personal history and saw that I personally have not been impacted by any of the recessions that happened in my adult life. A recession happened when I was in high school. I don't count that because I was in high school. So this personal background fuels my talking points because in 1990, guess what? I got out the military and I immediately went to work for Northside Hospital. So because I had the skill sets, I wasn't touched by the recession of the 90s. Actually, I went to Northside Hospital. After being there 30 days, I took some training. I got like a dollar raise. I wasn't touched by the 1990 recession. I wasn't touched by the recession in 2000s. And I surely wasn't touched by the Great Recession. So here's the thing. And a lot of people are making decisions based upon the talking points of the recession. My job here is to let you know what's really going on in the economy. But today we're going to take a little detour. We're going to go into how to not only survive during a recession, but how to thrive. I just told you that in the 2000 recession, now this is what's funny. I was completely unaware there was a recession. From a personal standpoint, there back in 2000, there was no YouTube, there was Yahoo! But there was no YouTube, there was none of all this, um, these talking points or these YouTube creators. I was completely unaware that there was a recession in 2000. Didn't know it, didn't feel it. I, every day I got in my car, I put in my Brian Tracy types, I put in my Earl Nightingale tapes, and I went on my sales appointments. During a recession, during a recession, I made $1.6 million during the recession that I didn't know was happening. See, here's the thing, guys. And I've been talking this talk for the longest time. I've been saying it's about skill sets. It's about getting the right skill sets or starting a business. And once again, I have a video uh, on the corporate game, Extreme Personal Finance. Um, there's no competition, which brings me up to today is July 31st. It's the last day that you could get into the intellectual property school, the program, the masculine frame for a massive discount. The price goes up 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. So you could go ahead and get in right now and start learning these marketable skill sets. You could start learning how to manage your money. You could start learning how to do YouTube correctly. Cause see, there's, there's several ways to do YouTube. There's not just one way to do YouTube. There's a way that I do YouTube. I don't have a really large YouTube channel and I've made millions of dollars, millions of dollars. There's a certain sequence that you have to do. And a lot of people like I see YouTubers is like, Hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. They say this in their videos and what they're doing is training their audience. They're training their audience not to buy anything from them. This is what they're doing. It's a, the decision. So go ahead and get in the intellectual property school. 
We're going to have a live training this Wednesday, 8 p.m. So you want to go ahead. You don't want to miss it because it's going to be fire. It's going to be hot because once again, you have a choice to participate in the recession or not to participate in the recession. You have a choice and I can help you with that if you're willing, number one, to learn. Like This is why I include home economics in everything I do. Most of Americans have not been trained how to manage money. This is a critical skill set that you need if you're going to become a business owner. Because what's going to happen is you become a successful business owner. What's going to happen? You're going to have more money, more money. And you can mess that money up because you don't know how to manage it. So home economics, the intellectual property school, I'm going to teach you so many things that you just simply are unaware of. So go ahead, hit that first comment or go ahead and um, it's in the description and sign up today. Cause like I said, 11:59 PM Pacific standard time, the price goes up. And also for those of you who are already in the programs, I got some new stuff that's coming up and you're going to get a massive discount on that because you're already in the B school for hustlers ecosystem. So you want to go ahead and get in. Cause I'm telling you, there's some stuff that is coming that you're going to want to be part of. That's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So go ahead, act today and enroll in the intellectual property school or the program. The program includes the intellectual property school and the program. I'm probably really going to start hitting that pretty hard in October because I would need to build out the intellectual property school and go through all the courses. So go ahead get in now. Cause right now what's already in the intellectual property school will take you weeks to do what's already there and there's more coming. So you want to get in so you don't get behind. So go ahead and roll in the intellectual property school today, today. And I will see you guys in the next one. There's no competition in the commercial office furniture business. I had competition and I still made 1.6 million in a recession. So what you could take from these talking points is, and let's just go ahead and say the greatest, the great depression, which was the worst economic situation we've ever had in these United States and unemployment was 25, 27 point almost 28%. Let's say, and during the great recession, unemployment, because you know, it, it was put in the, you go to Wikipedia and it says the great recession lasted 1.6 years, 2007 to 2009. Yet unemployment was still 8% in 2012. So um, there's the technical definition of a recession. And I think that's we, from a technical standpoint, exited the recession. However, there is something that's called the recession aftermath and unemployment and the housing prices did not rebound for five, six years. So we can have that. This is something that's on record, but in 2000, I actually started the storage auction business. I left the commercial furniture office business and went into the storage auction business. So I had one business and once again, let's go ahead. And I'm not one of those drop shipping Shopify people that will tell you, Hey, yeah, my business made 1.6 million. That makes me a millionaire. No, it doesn't. That year I had over a huge cost overruns. My profit was like $40,000. So just because you have a business that does seven or perhaps eight figures, that doesn't make you a millionaire unless the net profit after taxes is over a million dollars. This is one of the sleight of hands that you see with the drop shipping channels. Like, yeah, my drop shipping store made 1.8 million. And I'm a drop shipping millionaire. No, you're not, bro. Not especially with the high cost of drop shipping and the low profitability and the low margins of drop shipping. You're not even close to a millionaire, but that's for the uninformed people to believe and to bite on. But it's real interesting. Um, like I said, 2000 and once again, in 1990, 
I knew things were bad, but I was in the military for part of that year. And then I left the military and I began working at Northside Hospital. So in my adult lifetime, I have weathered three recessions. This would be the fourth one. And I've not been impacted by one of them. Let me say that again. We're going through, this will be my fourth recession in my adult lifetime. Because there was recession, once again, uh, I was in high school, so I don't even count that because I wasn't working. But I've not been impacted by any of these recessions not in any form not in any shape so let's go ahead and say during this recession and then there was the uh well they have the coronavirus recession so this would be that would technically be i, I made three million dollars <laughs> i wasn't impacted by that recession that recession actually helped me make a lot of money so technically this would be my fifth recession and I have not been touched by any of them. Well, let's talk about why I, Glendon Cameron, have not been touched by recessions. Why I don't worry about recessions. Number one, I stay active. I don't sit around and put my head in the ground and go, oh, there's a recession. I might as well not even try. Once again, in the 2000s, I didn't, I didn't even know there was a recession. I, once again, uh, to be honest, I did not read uh, the economic headlines like I do now. I didn't even pay attention to that stuff. I was just living my life. So in 2000, I didn't even know there was a recession. Didn't feel it. My bank account didn't feel it because once again, uh, I have to look during this first part of this recession. I had the first version of GC solutions and I made $250,000 and I was working at business environments and I made 350,000 that year during the, you know, recessionary periods, because when the recession comes, the economy, the American economy is too big to turn on the dime. Like these things take many, many months to happen. So during this recessionary buildup period, I was making a lot of money pre-recession because the, you know, for the recession to happen, bad things were happening during the pre-recession period. And I was making a lot of money. I made $600,000. Now, once again, let's ask the question, why hasn't Glendon Cameron been impacted by recession? Number one, I stay aware. Number two, I stay busy. Number three, I continue to educate myself. The skill sets <clears throat> that I have now, I didn't have in 2000. Didn't have in 1990. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and make a few suppositions. Let's say that, you know, it was called the Great Recession because we had the housing crisis, we had extremely high unemployment, and this recession is going to be different than the Great Recession. But let's say unemployment gets to 10%, okay? What does that mean? 90% of people have jobs. Here, here's something that, a concept that I don't think you guys have ever considered. There is so much money in the American economy. There's trillions and trillions of dollars in the American economy during a recession. Trillions. There's a lot of money. There is no scarcity of money. There is no shortage of money. There's so much money in the American economy that during a recession, and let's walk it back to the Great Depression, when we had 28% unemployment, that meant 72% of America had a job. And this is how Pope Fiction writers became millionaires during the Great Depression. Walt Disney came up during the Great Depression. See, here, here's the thing, guys. 
if you want to put your head down and go like, whoa, you know, this thing is happening, uh, I'm about to get screwed over, or you can take a proactive stance. You can get busy because I'm about to tell you something. And I'm not telling you this to brag or boast. I ordered a brand new Porsche that will be here September, I believe. September, uh, September, I don't know when I, I'll, I'll start getting updates probably next month or they, this is the first new, new car that I've had since I bought that brand new BMW with my first big check in the commercial office furniture business. And once again, I don't tell you this to impress you. I tell you this to impress upon you that this is how not worried I am about the um, recession. Uh, I see it as an opportunity because here's, here's the thing. And I want you guys to really, really listen to me. If you get active and you have some kind of business ideal and you go ahead and you get active and you start executing on that business ideal, whether it wins or loses, let's say you have a business ideal that's whack, it's whack 100, and you go ahead and you um, try to do it, and you learn something that you didn't know, that's a win. You may have not succeeded with your business uh, aspirations, but you learned something. When I was in the military, I tried to start not one, not two, not three, not four, but five different businesses, and they all failed. But each failure, I learned something. And that's part of the educational background that allowed me to succeed in the future. Because once again, like I said, I'm not worried about this impending recession. Not worried at all. Because the, the coronavirus recession, I make a gang of money. I made the most money I ever made in one year in my life. Part of the thing is before the recession happens, you have to position yourself to win. I already had the online courses. I already had the online website. I was already set up. So when the opportunity came, because remember when the recession, when, when the, the pandemic started and I was making all these videos, one of the things I was saying is you're getting this stimulus money. You need to educate yourself. You need to self-educate. You need to retrain. You need to take this money and get yourself some new skill sets. The message doesn't change. And some of you have peeped that out. It's like, you know, you're consistent. You've been saying the same thing for years after years after years. So once again, you need to be active because during the recession, there will be trillions with a capital T of money in the economy. Trillions during the recession, trillions. And this is one of the things I used to do when I was in sales. I used to wake up every morning, I go brush my teeth and shave and look in the mirror. And I was like, somebody got your money in their pocket, dude. And it's your job to get your money Somebody got your money. Cause see, th this is the thing. Like, let me go ahead and tell you one of my plans. I got a chunk of money in the bank, chunk of money. And I made that money very quickly, to be honest with you, really, really quickly. And I was like, so I have a goal to make three times that chunk of money in the bank and buy an apartment complex so I can become permanently wealthy right now i'm rich sort of kind of wealthy because you know I'll, I'll just say this i have enough money in the bank where i don't have to work ever again just strictly off that money in the bank i don't ever have to work again however i'm young i'm only 55 what i'm gonna do just stop working and trick off that's just not in my personality so i have a 10-year goal 
in the next 10 years, because I made this money in one year, <laughs> less than one year. So in 10 years, I've given myself a 10 year runway to re uh, invent, to reconfigurate my company, like the office, like uh, the office that I rented for Mac Daddy Autos. I decided to keep it because in the future, I'm gonna hire employees. And you know, I live in a high rise. There's no room for employees to be working here. Like if I had kept the house, I could have ran that business out of that house pretty easily. But I kept the, uh, the office and in the future, there's gonna be probably three employees in that office. What am I doing? I am preparing for the recession. And I've changed the name. I've said, you know, instead of doing Mac Daddy Autos, do Savage Consulting Services. So that's the new name that the, uh, one of my operating companies, that office is in the name of the operating company. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand, you cannot sit on your butt and win during the recession. It ain't gonna happen. But going back to my plan, I'm giving myself 10 years to 3X what I made in really four months. So I feel I can do it. And then take that money and buy an apartment complex. And at that, in 10 years from now, I'll be 65. So I will own an apartment complex at the age of 65 because, you know, I don't even know if social security is gonna be around when I get to that age. And I don't even wanna be in a position where I have to rely on social security. Uh, I don't even wanna be nowhere near that position. You know, if I get it, cool, there'll be extra money. But 10 years from today, uh, about nine years, cause I, I will be 56 in October. So nine years in about two months, my goal is to be an owner of an apartment complex. And I'm probably gonna do it way quicker than that, probably in three to four years. But I've given myself a 10 year window, a 10 year window. Because once again, one of the things I look at is during the Corona recession, I saw cranes all over Atlanta. They didn't stop building in Atlanta. When I was living in Sandy Springs, they had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but $10 billion projects going on concurrently during the recession. See, a recession means that there's a contraction, there's a reduction. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. So this is one of the reasons because I had to really sit back and kind of look back at my personal history and I've not been impacted by not one of these recessions. Number one, what got me over it was skills. I had the skill sets to exit the military and to roll off in the Northside Hospital. My video, you don't have an income problem. You have a skill set problem. And then after that, I was in the business world. I'm telling you guys, uh, let me go ahead and tell you, we're, we're gonna have a recession, okay? Let, let's just go ahead. Uh, Joe Biden and all of these people could say we're not gonna have a recession. I guarantee you, fourth quarter is gonna tell the tale because we're gonna see what Christmas looks like. Like last Christmas was horrible. So we're gonna see what this Christmas looks like. And based upon my estimation, because the American people are living on credit. And at that point, I think the credit limits are going to be exhausted. And this is something else that's funny. During the last recession, there was a contraction in credit. Uh, there were people who had HELOC loans. The banks closed them down. Uh, people had their credit card limits slashed. Right now, they're giving out credit cards like crack like candy, here, here, you get the credit card. I mean, I just recently got some American Express cards. They started me off at 40K, 40K. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. But then again, that's how my credit profile, I have a few 50K cards. 
So I can kind of see why they did that. But I'm getting ready to start a business consulting practice. And it ain't gonna be cheap. This is how confident I am in the economy. Not so much my abilities, but the economy. Because recession, let's say we get to 10% unemployment, that means 90% of the people gonna have their jobs. <laughs> I mean, more money, more money, more money, more money, more money. Uh, to bite off of him 500, because he's got this thing called recession proof. I have been recession proof my whole adult life because of skills in constant education. Once again, I've not felt a recession. I do stuff that I don't even tell y'all about. I do stuff like that's kind of kind of crazy if I was to share it with you, but I'm not gonna share it with you because I get enough hate as it is. But once again, there are trillions, trillions of dollars in the economy during the recession. And you need to wake up and say these words. Somebody out there got money, my money in their pocket, and it's my job to get my money. Like, like I said, uh, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm probably gonna do. Once again, I like this high rise living. I like it a lot, but I'm not gonna stay here forever. And I mean, it was real easy to get in. I mean, I filled out my application, like literally 45 minutes later, they told me I was approved. So I got in here and the plan is that I may keep this place as an office and I'm gonna buy a house. But once again, I'm gonna pay cash for the house and the house is gonna be seven figures. You wanna know why? Let me go, let me go ahead and tell you something. My favorite, favorite expression, luxuries once tasted become necessities. This is why I don't stay in anything less than a four-star hotel. I am addicted to this lifestyle. So one of the things is I look at the real estate market and everything that I like is 1.5 to 2.5 million. Cause that's what I'm used to. That's what I'm accustomed to. So I'm gonna roll out of here into probably, it's gonna be seven figures. I don't know if it's gonna be 1.5 or 2.5, but I'm gonna roll out of here and I'm gonna pay cash for that house. Just like I'm gonna pay cash for this Porsche that I got coming. See, um, one of the things that you have to understand is I totally acknowledge and understand the very rare position that I'm in. I have a business that generates enough profit where I can do these things. And many folks, you know, like I said, I have a goal to create, you know, 100,000, you know, 50,000 corporate citizens, get you the 250. See, I realize how rare I am in this economy. There's, there are people who are doing way better than me and they're even more rare than I am. But to have a single person business do three million in one year? That's exceptional. That's exceptional. And going ahead, my goal is to do this, you know, and once again, I got to build up to it because I've been doing this long enough to realize how the runways work. So I got to start laying the seeds for that money today to get it two, three, four, five years in the future. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, I've been screaming this and screaming this and screaming this and screaming this. You got to work. You got to self-educate. Because like I said, during this recession, let me tell you what's going to happen. Right now, there's some chick, single mother with two children. Uh, she has a job. She has an apartment. She's making do right now. In the future, she's going to become a prostitute. She gonna start selling that ass to get some money cause that's the only thing she has. There's right now a couple who's 55 and they're gonna be living in a car. They're gonna be living in a car. Right now they have a house,
But right now, things are getting kind of tight. They're on a fixed income. A few years, they're going to be living in a car. This is going to be the same economy that's going to be happening to this single mother with two kids who's going to become a prostitute. This uh, elderly couple, well, 55 is not elderly, but this 55-year-old couple, they're going to be living in their car. And in the same economy, I'm going to make millions. I'm going to make millions in the same economy that other people are going to be losing their houses, losing their cars, because here's the thing. And here's the most important thing. These people are unaware of what is actually happening in the economy. They know how many kids Kim Kardashian has. They know Kobe stats. They know um, Derek Carr, Los Raiders. They know all his stats but they don't know the important financial information that is directly impacting them. They don't know that. They ain't interested in listening to that. I, I got this comment on the video. It's like, I can only make it through two minutes of your videos because your videos are visual. And I said, you got a weakness. You need to be educated to be entertained. You need to rid yourself of that weakness. Because right now, we have a bunch of people who need to be educated but because they have to be entertained, they have to be, you know, excited, get that dopamine hit. They, they're not be, like, once again, um, I'm gonna do a series called Real Money, talking about people. Cause do you understand there's like DoorDash, there are many companies in Silicon, billion dollar companies that have not made a profit which is crazy to me, which is crazy to me, but they rely on the capital markets for funding. Because right now, America runs on credit. And if we, and this is one of the reasons, I don't think there's gonna be a credit crunch during this recession. Uh, it, it's too mandatory, it's too much needed because if there was a serious credit crunch like what happened in 2008, and I feel that this is why the 2008 even though the so-called recession only lasted one year and six months, that the ramifications of that recession lasted for six years is because they killed credit. I remember I had a friend who was in real estate and he had like 10 HELOCs on 10 of his properties. And he actually was able to get three of them, three of them cash them out and put the money in his bank account. And the banks closed all seven of his other HELOCs. So there was a serious liquidity crisis in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. And because of that liquidity crisis, that's why the, the recession just kept hanging on because people didn't have money. So based upon what happened, and I'm looking at all these fintechs that are coming out with all these credit products. Literally, you know, if you watch the credit plug, shout out to the credit plug, Every month, there's a new FinTech coming out with a credit product, every month. So I don't think there's gonna be a liquidity or credit crisis. Now, what I do believe is the price of that credit is gonna be extremely expensive because the banks are gonna see that as a money grab. It's like, hey, you have a FICO score of 650. We could charge you 23%. Hell yeah, we're gonna lend you money and hit you over the head with that 23% interest rate. I see a lot of that happening because the average car payment is 700 bucks. You got people out here paying 700 bucks for a Corolla because they don't know how to manage their money. But yeah, if you don't want to be impacted by the recession, you gotta get busy, man. You gotta get busy. But if you wanna be impacted by the recession, just keep watching, keeping up with the Kardashians, keep watching your favorite sports teams and refuse to educate yourself and refuse to look beyond something outside of a video game. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. And the recession's just going to slap you upside your head. But if you don't want to be impacted by the recession, I got news for you. You don't have to be. You don't have to be impacted by the recession. It's about skill sets. It's about marketable skill sets. It's about starting businesses. You don't have to be impacted by this recession if you don't want to. 
But if you want to be lazy, you want to just sit around and do what you've been doing. Yeah, OK, it's, it's going to eat you up a lot. But once again, while you're crashing, while you're worried about the high price of gas, while you're worried about the high price of heating your house, while you worry about these food prices, I'm eating steak. Tonight, I'm going out to a nice restaurant, me and my girl. And I'm, it's probably going to be a $300 bill. And I'm going to slap that credit card down and pay it. The credit card that I treat like a debit card because I'm not carrying any balances. So you got a decision. You can embrace entrepreneurship. You can embrace money management principles. You can start embracing, educating yourself about this economy. Or you could do nothing and be slapped upside the head by this recession. It's a choice. It's a choice. And I chose not to be impacted by the recession. I choose not to be impacted. I don't care if we're raided by aliens and there's spaceships in the sky and they're just scooping people up left and right. I'm not going to be impacted. I'm going to be in a bunker somewhere. Real talk, be in the bunker, because here's the thing that you guys have got to understand. You want to know why the top end of the Airbnb market isn't going to crash because there's a bunch of people out there like me who always have money regardless of the economy. There's a group of people who will always have money regardless of what's going on in the economy. And you can be one of those people if you choose to. It's a choice. It's a decision. So are you going to be choosing to be impacted by the recession? Or are you going to choose not to be impacted by the recession? Put in the comments, I refuse to be impacted by this recession. Let me let me see how many people make it this far. I refuse to be impacted by this recession. Which brings me up to the day is July 31st. It's the last day that you could get into the intellectual property school, the program, the masculine frame for a massive discount. The price goes up 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. So you could go ahead and get in right now and start learning these marketable skill sets. You can start learning how to manage your money. You can start learning how to do YouTube correctly. Cause see, there's, there's several ways to do YouTube. There's not just one way to do YouTube. There's a way that I do YouTube. I don't have a really large YouTube channel and I've made millions of dollars, millions of dollars. There's a certain sequence that you have to do and a lot of people, like I see YouTubers is like, hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. They say this in their videos and what they're doing is training their audience. They're training their audience not to buy anything from them. This is what they're doing. It's a, a decision. So go ahead and get in the intellectual property school. We're going to have a live training this Wednesday, 8 p.m. So you want to go ahead. You don't want to miss it because it's going to be fire. It's going to be hot. Because once again, you have a choice to participate in the recession or not to participate in the recession. You have a choice and I can help you with that. If you're willing, number one, to learn like this is why I include home economics in everything I do. Most of Americans have not been trained how to manage money. This is a critical skill set that you need if you're going to become a business owner. Because what's going to happen is you become a successful business owner. What's going to happen? You're going to have more money, more money. And you can mess that money up because you don't know how to manage it. So home economics, the intellectual property school, I'm going to teach you so many things that you just simply are unaware of. So go ahead, hit that first comment or go ahead and um, it's in the description and sign up today. Cause like I said, 11:59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The price goes up. And also, for those of you who are already in the programs, 
I got some new stuff that's coming up and you're going to get a massive discount on that because you're already in the B School for Hustlers ecosystem. So you want to go ahead and get in because I'm telling you, there's some stuff that is coming that you're going to want to be part of that's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So go ahead, act today and enroll in the Intellectual Property School or the program. The program includes the Intellectual Property School. And the program, I'm probably really gonna start hitting that pretty hard in October because I will need to build out the intellectual property school and go through all the courses. So go ahead, get in now, because right now, what's already in the intellectual property school will take you weeks to do. What's already there, and there's more coming, so you wanna get in so you don't get behind. So go ahead, enroll in the intellectual property school today. Today. And I will see you guys in the next one.